Today's video will show you how to register for classes using SIS or the Student Information System. You will log into SIS through your My VPCC portal. This video also assumes that you already have a list of courses available to you. You can find your list of courses in the catalog, by running your academic advising report, or by checking in Navigate. Once you get to this window, you will either click this launch button here, or if you have one that has tiles, you will click this launch button here. Next, you will click My Student Information. On the left hand side, you will see several drop down menus. You can also click Enrollment to see the many options here and remember that this is the option for dropping classes. For this video, we will click Class Search and then click Class Search again. You will want to make sure that the correct institution and term are both selected. For this video, we will enroll in the Spring 2023 semester. Having reviewed the catalog for our list of courses, we will enroll in SDV 100. SDV goes in the subject box and 100 goes in the course number. For SDV 100, call it Success Skills. You can then click Search. As you can see for this particular course, there are 21 class sections found. When registering for classes, be sure to check your meeting dates, the room, and the day and time. As you can see, we have courses in our at our Hampton campus, our historic Triangle Williamsburg campus, our Southeast Center in Newport News, and Virtual Classroom, or online. If you see Virtual Classroom with TBA, this means that the course is asynchronous. This is a course in which you can log in at a time that's convenient for you to complete your work. You have no scheduled lectures. However, you have all the same due dates. We will select this course. You do not need to click the waitlist checkbox, nor do we use permission numbers. From here, you can scroll down and see the class notes. For this particular course, the class materials total cost is zero. To enroll in the course, you will click Next. An SDV 100 Call It Success Skills has been added to your shopping cart. SIS is like online shopping. Just because it's in your shopping cart does not mean that you've enrolled in the course. So you will then click Shopping Cart. As you can see, this particular student has several classes in their shopping cart. Currently, these courses are all open. However, it is possible that they could be closed. It's recommended that you enroll in courses and do not leave them in your shopping cart as your spot may be taken. And if that class is full, there is no guarantee that we'll, there will be additional courses for which you can enroll. I have selected SDV 100 and then I will click Enroll. Step two confirms that I wish to enroll in these classes. I do, therefore I will click Finish Enrolling. And what we want is the green check of happiness or successful enrollment, not the red X of sadness or that there was an error. If there is an error here, please review the error and adjust your schedule as needed. It's recommended that you view your college catalog to ensure that you have the correct prerequisite course. If you are unsure, you can reach out to your academic advisor or advising at vpcc.edu for any assistance. I'm actually going to go back 
and drop this course. You do have the option to add another course from this menu or you can click class search again. To drop the course, I will click enrollment, drop classes. Then I will select the correct term, which is spring 2023 in this example, and then click continue. And as you can see, since I've only enrolled in one course, this is the only option. Be very careful when dropping courses, as once you drop a course, there is no guarantee that you can add it back. I will now click Drop Selected Classes. And once again, it is confirming that I wish to drop this course, and I will click Finish Dropping. I have the green check of happiness, showing that the class was successfully dropped and not the red X of sadness. From here, if you have other classes, you can look at your class schedule, or you can go back and add additional classes here through class search.